how you're all doing. So what we're doing in this video, fitting the radiator again, fitting the oil cooler again with the fan and all the bracketry. And hopefully putting this snake back where it belongs. So let's get cracking. Let's get some painting done. Well, it's time for painting. But we're not going to get much painting done in this. Plus I've got a bad back. all the wiring sorted out on the fan. Let's put all this back together. My back is killing me. Why is it like trying to make an appointment with the Pope when you ring your general practitioner? No, you can't see him in person. He'll give you a phone conversation. So why can't I see the doctor? In case you've got Omicron. I had that for breakfast. No, it was granola. So it's okay, don't worry about it. I'm feeling a little bit better. I feel like tidying myself up. How come you can't see the doctor but you can see the little barber and have a cut and blow? Blimey. I feel like I've been rebooted. Right then, let's get it back on the bike. Here we go.
Go Johnny, go! Right then, that's all on. Uh, I don't know if you could see down there, but I put some uh, heat resistant tape on it. This stuff, which I've got up there around the fire, this gets absolutely red hot. And so did this metal at the back. But now I put that on there, it just stays freezing cold. So this is good stuff. Got it on this side barely because it's so close to the exhaust. Looks a bit horrible but it should be even worse if it bursts. I uh, can't fill the cooling system up yet because number one, it would be very difficult to find a water pump which lives in there. And number two, we've got to put the giant spider on there with the thermostat. And uh, obviously I don't want to put that on there yet because I want to sort all this out first. So it's time to get on with the wiring. I've got it I've got the wire loom through this bit. I think originally it did go over this tube, but I'm taking it to try and keep it inside. Hopefully it's not going to cause any problems. Uh, I've got all this up here, which we've got to sort out. Get the lengths right. These bits are for the headlights obviously. That's the headlights, that's the side lights. And these are out the headlights and the side lights. So basically so these have got to go into there and then uh, try and work out how long the wires have got to be. Hopefully that's the uh, side lights sorted out. Managed to keep the original plug. Had the original plug on the uh, side light wiring. If we just plug that in there, like so, then that can feed into there. That can feed through there. And feed up into the other red light. So now I've just got to do the main beam and the uh, standard beam. So let me work all that out and I'll get back. Okay, so we've just got these resting in there loosely. They've got the bulbs in. Uh, they need another plug for this uh, one so we can plug that in. But that will be inside the light. Uh, I haven't got a battery for the bike but I've got my little power pack. So these are connected to the side lights. So when I press that button, the side lights should come on. Wish me luck. Do they work? Oh, 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 oh. oh yes, I think that one's a bit dimmer. Must have the wrong bulb in. Okay, now let me set the uh, high beam and low beam up. Right then, I've got my little crocodiles on these little wires. So I press that button again, we should get the eye beam. And if we set that to the uh, low, low beam. Oh yes! So, there we go. Lights. Done. Let me tidy all this up. Okay, so we've got the uh, rectifier and I've worked out that that goes there. So let's stick that on and see if we can work out where the wire loom goes from there. So I think that goes to the top. Stick them in there. Lock 
case I've got the loom coming through here. This is the wire to the uh, pulse coil. That just goes into those because that's blue and yellows, blue, yellow, white. Goes into there. This is the alternator and this goes into this rectifier. I got it up through the back. Look that in there. That this has to be fed up around there. I think before I put that through there, try and get the battery box in. So there's the battery box. If we could get that in. in there like that. I'll just put a little bolt in the top there to keep it in place. Is that through there? Put a nut on underneath. Start that there temporary. This looks like the fuel pump goes in there. So there's another clue. Right then, so that bit. So I'd say goes on to there. We go through there into this. So that will be in there like that. There, 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 look. So that must go into there. I think I should have done that first, that's got to go through there. Have I push it underneath. Just cram it all in underneath in there. And I think it's got to go through there. is all good fun. Okay so like I say that must clip onto that little gizmo in there. Don't know if you could see that little prong sticking out. Just go through that rubber. He says we get that in there. To there, but uh, uh, I don't want to plug into there. I know exactly what we'll plug into there. The fuel pump, definitely. So let's 
got another slit there so I would say that goes on to that prong. That must go up there. Slots in there. I think these wires might want to be at the top. into there. Ta -da. So that must be all that. Put that down there, make it a bit neater. Under there. Another pipe to come off there. I'll just zip tie all these to the uh, framework. The earth strap comes off there and goes to the battery. So that's that. Now the rest of this loom, I think, goes over to that side. Goes over to this that side because I know for a fact that this solenoid fixes onto the side of this battery box. So let's go around the other side. So now we're on this side, you'll see what I mean. That's definitely a candidate for the solenoid. So I think then things go to the back. We just want these bits. That bit was called to the uh, starter motor. If I remember right, when I first got this bike, we tried the uh, starter button and this didn't work, so... Might have to get a spare. So that's got to go round to there. Hopefully plug onto these poles. Make sure it goes all the way on. Right. I think that's it. So that's on there. Then this goes to the starter motor. It's supposed to go up there. there into the battery. Perfect. So all this goes that way. So we'll take them back through there. That's going to be for the CID. CDI unit. I oh know fits into there. But this used to fit on there with the other bolt. Go 
in there, but that's obviously been cut off. So, but I have to work out a new place for this. And then these just go into the back light. I'm not worried about that. Just this bloody thing. So I've got to sort where I'm going to put that goes on there like so so yeah we've got to sort where we're going to put that and like I say I'm not worried about them they're easy but down the front yeah we did sort the headlight wires out but then we've got to sort the speedo wires out we've got to sort the ignition wires out and all this has got to go under here somewhere. So I've sort of given up on that for a bit till I'm really in the mood. Yes. And then we've got to work out where the fuse box is going to live. Whew. So that's it for this one. So there you go. Thanks for watching. I see you in another life, brother.